So here we go. Salome serve. Let's play pickleball. So you saw everything I talked about right there. Salome striking it well. Paris with the two-handed backhand and just that lack of being able to get all the way to the ball there uh, served Todd well and not Davidze. There's that pressure at the kitchen you mentioned. But to be excuse safe. me on that return. <laughs> wow. Earning your way to the kitchen. Zero, zero. Davidze also with a strong tennis background, grew up in the country of Georgia, playing tennis starting at the age of five. Moved here at age 10, played pro at 16. Wow, that was a rocket. I mean, the way this lady strikes the pickleball is it's flamethrowers from the baseline. Paris knows that's going to be coming, so. Uh, one, one. What a shot from Paris shot. That looked like the figure eight drill that we do, which is not fun, Michelle. You hit it down the line, I'll hit it cross court. I mean, look at this. That's exactly what transpired there. And that's hard to be the down the line person in that. It's a much harder shot to hit. Well done, Paris. That's why for David Zank looking for clarification. So again, the appeal is to the line judge. So just to walk through again, they're not calling it unless asked. So you, the player has to ask the lead referee, Mary Namey, who will then ask the line judge staring at that line to make the call, and the call was out. It's a monstrous return, though, from Davidze, to your point a few serves ago. So that's something Paris is going to have to keep an eye on. Like she had a great variety of serves in the mixed doubles that she played. So she's going to have to find the one that doesn't enable that to just sit in the strike zone of Davide because she is clobbering it. Too good of a drop shot from Davide. And a nice run in Mesa all the way to the bronze medal match. Dropping that one to Leah Jansen. Through withdrawal. Vite is a player that does love a target as well. So Paris comes in cross court and that gives up angles. And Davide will happily return the favor. So that's the mistake that Catherine made a few times. Instead of hitting to the open court like Paris just did right there, some of these ladies react and run so well, but Davidze side to side movement won't be as good as some of the ladies, so just keep hitting it into the open court. Paris went to school on watching that, I'm sure, to see how to win this one. That's smart from Todd. Paris went down to the ground there, but I think it was more. Oh, I had a shot at that one. 
Harris also trains a lot with Papin Parento in South Florida. I'm assuming picked her brain on some tips as well. Again, boy, we're we're using them. We got line judges out there. We're using them, and that's not a challenge, Michelle. So you could be asking all day about that. Davide laterally, both sides, and a powerful close. Yeah, holy Geppetto there. Paris just had her running everywhere and couldn't track down the last one. That is tremendous. So when you go for the big return, you are going to miss it. You just can't make perfect contact on the serve that's coming at you consistently. You can do it a lot of the time, but you're probably going to have an error or two leak in there. No one able to put together a run and oftentimes a singles match will be dictated by somebody getting hot and getting three or four in a row. Oh. Uh -huh. What a point. Can't believe Todd even got there. And then an easier shot after the recovery. And uh, paddle clap from Paris. Four, five. Get that down there, and that's the problem because uh, Davide makes very solid volleys on a ball that's up in the air. And Todd tried against Padiga Meta to drop a lot of balls when she came forward. Much longer frame on Padiga Meta to be able to take some of those drops out of the air. I haven't seen her use that quite as much here, trying to be able to beat Davide to the punch based on the clean pace of the shot she's trying. So we'll see if that continues. Salome's getting the money's worth on the uh, checking in on the referee calls here.
Paris Todd also rocking the new signature Paris Todd Selkirk visor. Yeah, it makes the ponytail easier, I'm told. Not that I would know personally. There's some hats available now, and what a shot there by Davidze. Paris Todd also entering on the agency market for paddles potentially here soon as well. So we'll see how that shifts if it does. have got to be better for Paris. I know Salome's serve is good, but if you leave it short, her ball striking and precision is so good from the midcourt that she's going to put both pace and angle, and then you're running out of room. That was a great shot there from Salome. Especially with that Annalie Waters signature paddle. Clean ball striking. That was a lot going on in the hand there to be able to play through pretty big wrap and one of the fingers taped up as well. Wow, what a shot from Paris Chad. So there's the drop that I was wondering if that might enter the play, and that is beautiful because then you do make her have to cover all 20 feet side to side there. That's nice. Five, six. Serve there called from by Mary Namy. Six, six. Great little roll angle there from Paris, and now she jumps in front. Finishing touch to the corner from Paris John inside out, recapturing the and lead. I love the Nine, six. Point. Hey, point. And a game point. For Paris Chad. Davide saves one. Where are you putting this return if you're Todd? Uh, depth. Depth. Uh, and then uh, she's been very smart about where to where to set up the point once she gets ahead. And she has not come forward very often herself. That's that same roll she's trying to hit. Obviously, left it way too high and made it easy for Davidze to track that down. If it's low and then it runs away from Davidze, that that's where she can take advantage of that opportunity. So then she did go back to that shot again and. Goes to the towel. I don't know if this is a full fledged timeout. timeout it is. She'll be motivated for that one. She was just spending some time at the Miami Open. Uh, no, at Indian Wells. Oh, Indian Wells, yes, yes excuse yes. me. Miami Open coming up. What a shot from Davidze. And. Trouble now on the side of Paris Chad. Davidze back within one. I mean, that is the perfect ball from Paris. That is an unbelievable volley.
Just wide, tie game, 10 all. What was once 10-6 in Todd's favor, slipped away. Yeah, great response to Vijay, called timeout, and then she goes into that zone. She talked about the breathing. She just sort of stares a hole through the video board back there, and it's it, it gets her refocused. Look at that one, but uh, down the line, forehands have sprayed just a little wide here. Now a game point on the side of David Zay. We've seen Paris Todd in these situations before. The match with Leia Jansen you referenced. Much more dire than down one, for yes. sure. Davide closes out the first, a 12-10 finish on the drop volley. Interesting, no paddle tapping there at the end. So we're going to keep an eye on all of this uh, around the actual play on the 20 by 44 here. And uh, this is where Paris is going to have to up the ante from the baseline because she got beat pretty soundly down the stretch there. To Davidze's credit, as I talked about, you're going to miss some returns when you just are absolutely blasting them, but the benefit has been significant as well. Yeah, what was it that ultimately carved out that comeback for Davidze at the end of game one that propelled her forward? Tremendous ball striking, an unbelievable reach volley in the middle of that, and the conviction to keep coming forward. She has been the player at the net, not Paris. Todd, more of a baseline player. Would you yeah. change anything on her end? I mean, she's got to look for opportunities, but uh, the just the serve and return is is you know we talk about it all the time, but the ability to not get the point off in a bad way. And she's going to be looking for chances to take the net as she did there. Now when you do that you have to be willing to know you are going to get past you just aren't going to always cover everything but you can put a lot of pressure on your opponent. Chris volley to start for Todd and she finishes the point. Big lead early in game two. That's just nuts. <laughs> Charles was instrumental in that. Time of her life as well. Much better depth on the groundies here for Paris because then that just all forward mentality of Davidze, there's no way she can come in from there. Todd Davidze with a drop volley. Todd all over it. And you saw the difference in foot speed there. That was awesome to get to this one right here and then put it in a safe place and then clobbered it. And oh, okay. Uh, message sent. Okay. Challenge. So this is allowed. So we have passive referee line judges who are the one you can appeal to, and then if every view the ruling stands, the challenge is lost, the timeout is lost. One timeout, one timeout. Well, we heard most of that, but what I can assure you is she said the ball was in.
So the variety of serves that Paris has thrown out there have been a factor here. That one she put more pace on, so you think you're going to get a change up than the cutter. She's like a great starting pitcher here for the Minnesota Twins. <laughs> Goodness. Lateral movement on full display at the kitchen. Tough groundies to defend, too, from Davidze. And to drop that in the front of the court. Man, alive. Chad surviving that point. That's exactly what it was. Life preservers everywhere, but uh, gets it off the tip of that paddle. What a response from Paris. Shot by Davidze to get the serve back. Both these ladies talk to the video board a lot because Paris goes and looks at the back of the court before every rally. I mean, that's what you got to have your routine to get you set for every single point. Ball is wide from Davide. This ball is that particularly close. Uh, After review, the out call stands. No timeouts remaining. One timeout remaining. We'll resume play at 7 0. So Davidze is now out of timeouts after that uh, missed challenge of the call from Paris, as well as the confirmation by the passive. Line judges, meaning they're not just calling every shot. There's the Paris Todd routine. Time in. Seven, zero. on the board for the first time in game two. She needed that. Yeah, she did. First time she was able to get there. And that first volley wasn't even hit at the kitchen. But uh, to be able to carve that into the corner is really impressive. Paris has added a little bit of loft to some of her ground strokes now to get some depth and uh, give her a little time to be in the middle of the court. So I like that slight change as well here. Call was long on the baseline, Davide. I'm going to guess that you're going to ask. Yep. <laughs> on theme.
turn and a 9-1 lead. Big statement here in game two for Paris Chan after dropping a game point in the first game to David Day. Hustle from Todd, but that was good patience from Davide. She almost came in on the one before that, and that would have put her in suboptimal position. So you got to choose the right ball when these two ladies can both pass on either side of their body. is like where was that when I needed it in game <laughs> one when you hit that unbelievable backhand volley that was much easier but pushed wide. Turned and came in, which is all you're going to see when the dudes come out here. So much different, even though it's just two human beings on the court. An 11 2 finish for Paris Chad. That ball ruled out. And this is going to three. The official ball of the PPA Tour. wants to move Davidze all around the court and take advantage of her movement. Leads to a short return, and then Davidze did not let Paris off the hook there. That two in the back end was money. So, what a response back the other way. Three quick ones hasn't relinquished the ball, and this is like basketball make it, take it right here. Salome Davidze. Just imposing her will on this third game. Much different start for her. How does Todd slow her down other than calling this timeout? Well, that's easy. So there it is. Go there grab it, it and watch it on that beautiful big screen of yours. See how Todd responds out of the timeout. Good kick by Davidze and a 5 nothing lead in game number three. Wow, and uh, as, as demonstrative as you will ever see Davidze, watch this after an unbelievable volley. Just keep with this here, boys. Wow, okay. Crowd loved that reaction, and I know somebody who didn't, that'd be Paris. hitting all of her targets right now. I don't know if I've ever seen this, Michelle. I'm sure it's... She's going to have to make a push here soon. 
Yeah, and it, it sometimes you get those in three months. She's getting that in a couple days, so it's the reminder of the same exact court. That's a great way to come out of the break for Salome Davidze not taking her foot off the gas. No, and she did not come forward on the third, but uh, this is a remarkable amount of one player just dictating everything and then that flipping the switch from game two to three here. That is in the court too. Eight in a row. get to serve. Unbelievable start for Davidze. This is going to take every ounce of internal fortitude for Paris Todd. She needs to get at least a couple here just to get rid of that zero. Had a look at the two handed backhand. That was going to be wide even if it hadn't hit the tape. Feeds a three points away from gold. Paris Chan lives to see another day. Time running out. Still looking for the scoreboard here in game number three. Paris John's on the board. Crowd has her back. One, eight. Wow. Wow. I mean, you want to talk about on a heater. Everything's going her way right now. Throw up that lob into that spot. I mean, good track down from Paris, but wow, 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 that's too good. Paris Chad showing some life. Keeping Davidze on eight for now. Brown has been engaged all championship Sunday long. Began her day with only doubles matches. Brings us to this singles decider. Wide for Davidze. Todd gets another. BJ is not going to let this become a run. Goes to sit down immediately. So it's interesting when David is ahead, it to our YouTube page. Yeah! Todd welcomes David to the kitchen, gets away with it, and pulls within five. The run and will continue. Tried to scream through both ears of a head turn, David there. Again, forcing the issue coming forward. Yep. So Paris Chan not going doesn't anywhere. Like that. Nope. Davidze doesn't like that, so she's like, well, then I'm going to come forward off the return, but that's not how she has been winning here, Michelle. So now you have forced a different type of point. She's picked her spots. 
Oh, man. And that wasn't even the giant serve to go for it, so, okay. coming forward there and had to hit a great volley and it was on point and then she knew she had the open court and just feathered it right in there. Okay. Can she chip away some more? Oh, Todd wanted the cross court finish. Couldn't get there. Davidze takes the serve back. No points for Todd. Yeah, she went with more of a flat, like, pace pass instead of the loopier two-handed backhand, which she can absolutely hit. Too good from Davidze. Two points away from closing it out. Yeah, and that's the point construction that has been the difference here. Heavy serve, great third into a corner, and then put away the volley. Clutch from Todd saves that one and holds Davide off at nine. I mean, that's dedication. Those have been on <laughs> all week, sitting in those great seats right next to the court. Well done by Paris Chad, fended off a nasty return from Davidze. And then just a little short hop, but she knew if she could get it over there, the pace of her shot would outpace the run of Davidze. And <laughs> man, is she roaring today. Wow. She's within three. No room for air. Oh my, it's a two point game. Paris John is right back in it. Down 8 1 in this game at one point, then 9 4. baseline, Davidze from the kitchen line, and my goodness, this lady is determined. I mean, the most debilitating part of this, they switched. She hadn't served. It was 6 nothing. Dad, she's on a rally. Come on, Charles. <laughs> Unfazed. Still a lot of work to be done here for Todd. Chance to tie it. Closes to the net and ties it at nine. This is absolutely. 
absolutely unbelievable and credit to her for having that will to get back into it. It's tied up, Charles. <laughs> A proud looking dad, nine all. Chance for Todd to pull ahead. Davidze beckoning the crowd on her side, gets the serve back. That backhand down the line from Davidze was an inch inside the baseline. That was unbelievable. It's that one right there. Intensity building. Todd presses to the net first, gets past, and now Davide takes a championship point. Yeah, and Todd's like, that's got to be going out, and it stayed in. I think she was there. Yeah, she let it go. Call was long by Todd. Davids, they thought she won it. Line judge is welcomed into the scene to confirm and or I deny think, the call. I think he said he was blocked. Oh my goodness. That, that appears to be in, that, that appears to be in folks. Wow. No timeouts. Unbelievable. No challenges. That one's back two for Davide, looking for clarification. Oh. Oh. This is overturned to good. That looks in as well, so. Live, I thought I saw it back, but no challenges left for Todd. I think those were both in. So uh, another chance for Davidze. Wow, this is getting wild down the stretch. Just wide, and Davidze gets her second PPA gold. What a performance, what mental resiliency at 9 all. I mean, to have. Welcome back, everybody, to the Pickleball Central Indoor USA Championships. And a match that had more twists and turns than a spy thriller ends up with Salome Davidze grabbing the gold here. She's standing by with Michelle. Yeah, Dave, a wild championship Sunday match. We just saw Salome tie game. 9-9 nine, nine in the third. You had an 8-1 lead. Paris was serving at 9-all. What was your mentality in that moment to turn that match in your favor? Honestly, I relaxed really at that point. I was like, well, you know, the pressure is gone. 8-1 is gone, so I'm just going to play my game. Um, I think I started the third game really, really well, really clean and fast. And Paris makes so many balls that you've got to take risks. And um, it's, you know, risk and reward, basically. And then what were you telling yourself once you got the serve back to close it? Uh, I. Honestly, I try not to think at all. Uh, the best game I've ever played, best tennis, best pickleball is when I don't think too much. I tend to overthink things a little bit. So uh, I was just trying to keep it very clear mind. Your second career gold on the PPA Tour in women's singles. What's special about this one? Well, uh, I had a goal to win a PPA last year, and it took me 11 months. Uh, this year, I had a goal to win a PPA goal. It took me less than that, and uh, I'm really excited. I had a big break between my last uh, gold medal PPA and the next tournament, so I, was, I felt kind of rusty last three tournaments, but it felt great out here. All right, time now to welcome in our title sponsor. Oh. Thank you, Minnesota. You guys are incredible. 
VP of Marketing for Pickleball Central, Chris Carson, is here to deliver the trophy. Congratulations, Salome. Well-deserved, incredible match. On behalf of Pickleball Central, please accept this trophy. Congratulations. Special moment and the gold sealed for Salome Davidze, Dave. Sure is, and it took everything she had and more. It looked like she could just cruise that thing after getting up 6 nothing and switching with a big lead. So, four down, one to go, and it is going to be a beauty. It's the Gents taking center stage, and it's Connor Garnett versus Federico Staxrud. Fed has made all four men's singles finals this year. He's looking for his second gold. We'll have that for you right after this.